Hey everyone, so I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas every year. Thousands of people upload Christmas haul videos and I thought that this year I would add to that. I think I did one last year but I might have accidentally deleted it when I was privatising some of my old videos and things. Um, but we'll get straight in with this. I'm not going to say who gave me what because they may not wish me to do that but everybody knows I am of course eternally grateful for everything I received this Christmas. I've decided to group them into little subcategories to make it easier so we will start with the three Lord Byron books I received. The first one is Lord Byron and Harrow School. This is easily one of my favourite presents ever. I've been wanting this forever so I'm really looking forward to this. And then we have He Loved But One, The Story of Lord Byron and Mary Chaworth. Really looking forward to reading this novel because I'm a bit obsessed with Mary Chaworth. And then there's this wee book about Ada Lovelace, which is a wee kiddies book about Lord Byron's daughter and it's so cute and adorable. So I'll do the kind of girly things next and then I'll get on to the Bon Carter Burton things which I guess will probably take up the most time. So the first thing is this dress dressing gown. I'm not going to open it all out but it's this beautiful print and it's very long as well which is ideal because my last one kind of only came up to my knees. This one kind of comes down to my shins. And there's this beautiful hot water bottle and a black fleecy blanket which is great because the one I'm currently using just now is a horrible kind of pink thing, really old pink thing so this is brilliant. Then I received a pyjama set, one was a vest top and shorts, the other was a t-shirt and trousers and this is the pattern that is on both of them. And then to take care of the fact that my hands are painfully dry, I have two Avon Care products, one's gentle hand wash and the other is express moisturiser so I'm hoping they're really going to do the trick because my hands are just appalling. Then we have two shower gels from Avon, I love Avon's shower gels and products, they always smell amazing. We have the watermelon one and then there is the black cherry and nutmeg. I think I've had like a mist version of this before and it is gorgeous. Sticking with scents, we have Kate by Kate Moss Perfume and um, Body Lotion. I've never smelled this before and it is gorgeous. I can't wait to start using this one. And then we have a wee calendar which is convenient for me to write on. Of course it says Gothic with this beautiful figure there. Now onto the bottom Carter Burton things. We have a few Lone Ranger things. We have the Lone Ranger DVD which I've wanted since it came out so I can't wait to watch that again. And then there is the little red Harrington Lego figure which I will do a more in-depth review of alongside the Lego Bellatrix um, probably next week. And then there is the Lone Ranger calendar which I didn't even know existed so this was a very big surprise and it is absolutely beautiful. It's a 19 month calendar and it's very colourful. Then there's also three Nightmare Before Christmas things. You have this beautiful Jack Skellington mug which I know is from the Disney store if anybody's interested in it. And then we have the Nightmare Before Christmas PlayStation 2 game, Oogie's Revenge. I only first heard of this probably about a month ago and I wanted it, I didn't buy it, so I was over the moon to get it for Christmas. And then there is this baby, the Nightmare Before Christmas calendar. So, so happy with this one. Um, of course, it's the 20th anniversary this year. This is a 2014 calendar, but this year is the 20th anniversary, as you can see down there. So it's really nice to have a calendar to mark that. So the rest of the items are just Bon Carter miscellaneous. So first of all we have these Alice in Wonderland playing cards and I'll show you what the Hannah one looks like for those of you who are interested. Then we have two beautiful soundtracks. We have Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and we have Corpse Bride, two of my favourite Tim Burton films with two of my favourite soundtracks. So I'm looking forward to putting those onto my iPad. Then we have Sweet Revenge which I think is also called Revenger's Comedies which is why I couldn't actually find it on Amazon initially. Um, so I'm really looking forward to watching that. I don't know much about it other than the fact that Helena is in it. Then we have three books. We have the Tim Burton Pocket Guide which I had my eye on for quite a long time and this is just a beautiful little book which goes up to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Then there is this baby which I had wanted for so long and when I unwrapped it I, I nearly died. It's Sweeney Todd and the String of Pearls. It's the book on which Sweeney Todd the musical and the movie is, is based and I have never seen a cover more wonderful than that. And the last book is Burton on Burton. This is beautiful. I'm only, you know, I've only read about that much and already I'm completely in love with it. I can't wait to get through it, but I'm going to ration my reading because I'm only reading, you know, maybe a chapter or two a day because I do want it to last. Uh, and I think this one also goes as far as Charlie and the Chocolate Factory as well. This is the revised edition. And I just thought I'd put this here as well because I bought it on Boxing Day in the sales of the Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows calendar. Um, and as you can see, Bellatrix, Helena is on my birthday month. She is March. Um, I probably wouldn't have bought it otherwise, but she is March. I had to have it. So that is really, really wonderful. Of course, absolutely over the moon with everything I had. It doesn't need to be said. Very thankful for all these things. And um, please feel free to let me know what you got for Christmas. I do love these videos because I feel like they give people ideas for gifts for other people and things. And I just love seeing what other people get. It's, 
it's a weird interest. I think many people share that. Um, let me know any thoughts and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.